orbit. We have achieved orbit. All right, this is a new one. It was took at the turntable, the turntable, <laughs> and uh, we put a piece of t-shirt cloth on the on the colander, and we got the marble in the middle, and it's detenting the cloth, and we got a little. Almost, almost perturbed its orbit here. We're going to perturb it anyway, just for fun here. Okay, watch this. We're going to perturb the orbit. We've got a nice orbit going. All right, we're going to go <laughs> collapse it. All right, now we're going to try to make a new, establish another new orbit. Here we go. Now we're going to get our, get our black hole centered, pretty much. Reasonably centered. Okay, we've got our black hole centered. And we're going to just shove that in there. Ooh, oh, see, it lasted for a second, then it collapsed. Retrieve it. Okay, here we go. See, the thing is, is because it's stretching it outward, unlike actual gravity, which, which warps things inward towards the center of mass, <coughs> this demonstration is actually warping it outward. So what happens is it does not create an actual, real, genuine model of it. Okay, here we go. Uh, almost, oh, almost. But it does create, it does show kind of an example of, of how gravity does work. But, we get centered, reasonably centered. Now we've, we've upset our space fabric of space time. This is what would happen if you had a big magnetic field along the side of the Earth or something that came along. And watch. See, well, we can't get an orbit started like this. Oh, no, got it. That's not a true orbit, is it? Let's try. Stop it in its tracks. See if it collapses. Oh, it collapsed. See, that was a genuine orbit. Okay, that was true orbit. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's cool. See, a turntable, a colander, and a piece of t-shirt, and two little marbles, some clothespins.